Hey, if I was asked the other day how I use masks. So this is a quick tutorial to show you three different ways of using masks and they are quick and simple, okay? First one is fading your images. You see all these images and the edges are soft and they're faded out. This is how you do it, okay? So this is the mask I use. I'm sure a lot of people use different ones. So have the mask open, have your image open and go to layers, new mask layer from image. And you'll see a little drop down arrow here, click on it and click the mask you're using. In this case, it's 2020 and click OK. And you can see straight away the images have gone in. Now over here, you go right click and merge group. Now more often than not, I'll do this twice to be more effective. So again, layers, new mask layer, from image, drop down menu 2020 and again. And I'm just going to emerge the group again, obviously there. And I'm just going to merge and flatten this so hopefully you can see. Can you see how lovely that is? So that's the first one. Okay. Now we're going to go to the second way. I'm going to close this one out because I don't need it. I'm going to open a new image. I hope. Okay. And let's say we want a frame. So I'm going to flood fill this with um, any colour green will do you. It's not particularly my favourite colour, but still. So we're going to go layers, near us layer, and we're going to flood fill it with the colour we want. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Layers, new mass layer, from image, and you're going to pick the frame, which is a border mask, and click OK. And you now have your image as a border, as a frame. Again, same thing, layers, merge, group. Probably wasn't the best colour to pick, so. We'll use that colour. And maybe put white on top. Or the lighter green even, maybe, be better. And go layers, new mass layer, from image, Drop down, border mask, layers, merge, group. And then you can rotate that or you can use it whatever way you want. So that's the second way of using the mask. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, another way to use it is for your backgrounds. You know, you don't want to play in backgrounds, so... We'll flood fill this with a nice colour. Something nice and bright. Okay. Uh, layers, new Ross layer. Working with layers is amazing. Then flood fill it with another colour. Layers, new Ross, new mass layer from image. And pick that one. You can see how beautiful that is. And again, layers, merge, group. Now, you can also, I said three ways, there's four ways. You can save your masks and actually not load your mask from image. Okay. Um, I'll show you how to do that now. So we're opening another new image. Okay. We're going to flood fill it. And this time we're going layers. Come right down to load and save mask. Now, these images need to be saved somewhere on your computer. Don't save them in PaintShop Pro folder because it'll get so heavy, you'll get bogged down. I keep them on my desktop. I don't actually have them I keep them in a folder in my documents. So just for an instance, we'll have this one. So it says load mass from disk. This program doesn't know where my masks are because I don't use them in 2018 very much. I use them in the PSP 9 more. 
So we'll use this one. We'll leave everything as it is and go load. Do you see what happens? Isn't that cool? So we'll try it another way. Layers, new raster layer. And flood fill it with color. And then layers, load, save mass. Load from disk. Pick the mass you want. And load. And obviously layers, merge, group again. And then you can do what you want. With this you can click on it. Um, you know, flood fill different colours and stuff like that. So anyway, you know now how to use a mask. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.